Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Blue Chelsea TV. Chelsea midfielder Enzo Fernandez will join his teammates on the club's pre-season tour of the United States after participating in an alleged racist and homophobic chant on international duty. Enzo Fernandez will join up with the Chelsea squad on their pre-season tour of the United States after the midfielder sparked a racism storm earlier this month. The midfielder, 23, won the Copa America with Argentina before sharing a video of he and several teammates singing an alleged racist and homophobic chant directed at France during their post-match celebrations. Fernandez's actions have caused outrage among his teammates and he will come face to face with them in the coming days when. He travels overseas to the US, for a new report from the Mail that it's outlined that Fernandez, who is currently under investigation by the club, will arrive in the States on Monday. The report notes that he will have to mend the mess he made with his teammates, some of whom have publicly condemned his actions. Take a moment to like the video if you are enjoying the content. Subscribe to the channel if you're bumping here for the very first time. Fernandez could feature in Chelsea's remaining matches on the tour. The Blues will face Club America, Manchester City and Real Madrid before returning to the UK ahead of the new Premier League season. The midfielder has addressed criticism of the video since the clip went viral. He issued an apology for his actions, insisting that the video does not reflect my beliefs or my character. Chelsea captain Rhys James revealed earlier this week that he had attempted to speak to Fernandez before conceding the fallout of his actions could have a detrimental effect on the Blues dressing room. When he was asked if it could impact the squad, James told ESPN, Of course. There's always the factor where it doesn't sit right with people when there could be a problem. But until the day comes where everyone's together and in a room together, I don't know but I hope things can be resolved smoothly and we can move forward with the season. He continued, I spoke to him a bit, but it was hard because we were on different time zones. Just a general chat, really. His views on what happened in him trying to explain his situation and how things happened. It's a really difficult situation. There's no room for racism or discrimination in football. I think he quickly put his hand up and acknowledged he'd done wrong and apologized to his teammates, the club, and the rest of the people that were offended. I think that was probably the best he could have done in that situation. That's all. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you later with another video. Until then, bye-bye.